Hello everybody and welcome back to some Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time we came over here to the... the Crimson Mirelands, yes. Now I can think of as Mirelands. It's like, oh, what is, what's the other word? Anyways, let's actually go do the story. Between episodes, I did go and swap out some Pokemon, so this is my team now. I have Geodude, Badoo, and Psyduck now. Just to spruce up the typing on the team. Get some more types in there. And just make sure that we have more cases covered. Also, I... Psyduck is... I, I wanted to also get our shiny Psyduck in, because... They, come on. Come on. I want to get the shiny Psyduck in. So, because they're level 14... Uh, they're going to be taking all of the collection tasks from now on. At least until their... Level is up to snuff. So they'll be whacking the trees. We're off to these ruins over here. Hello, sir. Dodging is everything. Everything. When a wild Pokemon's lashing out at you with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you. I think that's kind of how dodging works. So. Alrighty. Looks like somebody's in here with whatever the evolution of the doof is. I don't remember what it's called. Hello. I'm Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Kalaba to you. Oh? How would you look at that? You have a celest uh, celestica, fru celestica flute. <laughs> I cannot say that <laughs> sequence of words. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. Uh, sure. I see, I see. Already heard about you, that you called Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people are saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. Do you need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter? A young lady, Aritsu, offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There's much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Okay then. <laughs> uh. Hello. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> ah, Sandrew. How about you show me the strength you could call even that could call even a frenzied lord? Uh, uh like I'm a bit busy right now. <laughs> Just randomly walks in these ruins and say, hey! Pokemon battle, eh? So he has, he has two Pokemon. Uh, we're starting with Psyduck, which I know I should have swapped out uh, who was party lead before uh, coming into the cave. Is there probably gonna be a level 20? Yeah, 22. So we'll give, we'll give them a run for their money, AKA uh, Whack everything up to strong style so that way we can try to get as much damage output before we go down. Is that a status buff move? Offensive stats were raised, defensive stats were raised, yes. And they're just going straight into that. Is gonna one shot? Yes, it will. Okay. And, okay, well, whatever, that's a moot point. <laughs> That was a moot point. The Badoo has 
poison, ah, poison sting, come on. Like, I guess we'll settle them out, but poison sting does not have much power to it. If I strong style this, I'll still get another turn, which is interesting. And they're poisoned. If I do another strong style, Huh. It'll take them down. It'll take them down to low HP. They're probably gonna move off and then maybe die from the poison. Unless they do the drain kiss again, which then would heal them. Let's hold off on that. I don't think you can... St unless they've changed it, you can't stack effects. So let's put you Poison Sting normal so that way we get another turn. Yeah, because they're gonna use that then. Get healed a decent amount. They're gonna get hurt by the poison and then if I strong style it, it should take them out. There we go. Unfortunately, Psyduck is not going to get any experience. Um, I think Buddy's out. <laughs> so it's, what even is that? Um, I don't have any super effective things, alright. Um, so let's not send them out. Lux is not a good idea. Let's just Drifloon and try to hit them with some status effects. What does Strong Style even do for? <laughs> oh, it increases accuracy. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. So let's do this. Strong style that so we don't lose out on any turns because it seems Gibble is a slow Pokemon. Grew drowsy. You're gonna hit with Twister anyways. And wait, why could they go twice? Wasn't the thing showing that I only got to I only got to go once there? So it's strong style. And then is the listing not definitive? Let's uh, experimentation time. So did that is too drowsy to move. Uh, so that's a moot point. <laughs> This should take it out. There we go. Okay. And it was a crit anyway, so whatever. I don't know how Pokemon games work. I just really casually play them. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. And now there's probably going to be some Deus Ex Machina thing of Gilda Lady coming over going, Oh, you... You... Dub your Pokemon and Pokeballs, but do you still command them well? And, eh. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe not. Maybe I'm getting too, uh, too ahead of myself. <laughs> I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged, pillaged the Celestion ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. I'd say that's more than a mere fragment. I'd say a good chunk of it. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? Your trio of bandits that have even hit us uh, Jinkyo guild members more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. <laughs> misfortunes sounds like a... like nefarious organization name that's like very obviously bad like uh what was it was it a uh, king squeeze <laughs> king squeeze from the original xenoblade 
Anyways, uh, Mistress, uh, Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to re regain the fragment, but 99, but good grief. <laughs> She's still out and about in 99. <laughs> The Hartford Chase leads off the way. Yeah, I would I would guess. <laughs> Pretty fit for for 99 over there. That's that's great to see. <laughs> so what do you say? Why not help find that fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally I'll be happy to lend you a hand. The sister uh sister swiped my wares too. I'm uh I'm no Jinko Guild merchant if I take that line down. And far be it uh, for me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Mirelands camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Okay. But the question is, why do bandits want... Fragments of some script? That is truly the curious thing here. Do you have anything more to say? Just pointing me back that direction. Okay. Furthermore, why steal the fragment? Would it be some kind of key, perhaps? Or do they not want others following them? I cannot see through these trees. <laughs> ah, here's the camp. That does in fact look like a used campsite. For a time campfire, somebody must have been here. And left perfectly good logs, just Arranged. <laughs> now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Hello. So, one reason people go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Well, this is remarkably easy. <laughs> it's remarkably easy to find them. I'm pretty sure this poor fool how wrong uh, they they were to assume they could ever be at us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. That you spot a four-leaf clover? Well, ha soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest. Coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Alright, then we certainly have an interesting bunch here. We're the infamous bandit trio of the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Okay. <laughs> quite the... Quite the interesting entourage here. Toxic Pro Again! Should've switched off of Psyduck. <laughs> If, uh, yeah. <laughs> Switch to Geo, dude. So don't think poison will do. Oh, that's Rock Smash. Okay. Uh, why did they have Rock Smash? Probably should have steered. Hey, nice. Uh, if I hit him with a strong style, will this defeat the? Mm. I won't do it. Obscured. Miss. Good. 
And one more, and they should be taken out. Here we go. That's good. Oh, that's their only Pokemon. I, su I suppose that's fair, because they is probably have to fight all three of them. Not fun of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the Galaxy team. Hey, Psyduck's finally getting some levels. The Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. No, you just have to fight one of them with one Pokemon. Yep. Also, where did the, like... You saw how large that fragment was. <laughs> A, where were they keeping that? And B, where are we keeping that? <laughs> Top one, sure. Blah blah blah. Run off, please. Why, why is it in days of spring beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Yeah, just, just spout your cryptic nonsense and go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, now that we have that out of the way, we can go finally collect this shiny ore back here. It's really what we're after. Stardust. Hey, Side Dog gained another level. Anyways, I'll meet you back at the ruins. And we come riding in on our weird ear. Hello, Bolo. Here's the fragment. Good work. Very good work indeed, Sander. You've got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Kalamba's uh, reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has. Ever since she was young, she lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, resting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team, rather I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm uh, Urs Ursaluna's frenzy, Sander. No Austin's have said that word, so whoopsies. <laughs> Arranging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Okay. And poof, he's gone. <laughs> I'm here with the Z fragment. Hi. No, oh, you've come back to come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you like. I won't change my mind. Uh, this, uh, I have this thing. I can do it with the eyes. <laughs> what? You want to retrieve the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're eager to calm that. Eager to calm Ursaluna, hmm? Uh, if possible. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, I'll see that wall fragment. But, how do we reach that? <laughs> Uh, questions. And there we go, good as new. I don't think... I don't think that's actually what's on there. Like, that, that's not what's on the wall. <laughs> I I don't think that's what's on the wall. <laughs> There's a discrepancy here. <laughs> sure, read away, but which one are you reading from? <laughs> All lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. 
Maybe this is all my use to know guidance. What is your name? I see you. Sandra. Please, lend me your strength, that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but it doesn't seem to be in any in other frenzy. I think it will return to its normal, his normal state, if we can just give him some medicine. I can never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle. That's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay in Sludge Mound. Great. Five Star Hotel, Sludge Mound. <laughs> Lovely place to live, yes. <laughs> Please join me there when you're ready. Like, you could have picked some other place, you know, it wasn't like... The Golden Lowlands. Cloudpool Ridge. The Sludge Mound. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's uh, sun's crashing into the mountains, so I think that's a good, good place to end the episode. We uh, climb. Skyrim horse away! <laughs> that actually worked. Anyways, we uh, made it to the ruins. It was surprisingly close. Hi, that's one of the wisp things. 19 wisps remaining in this area. Alrighty. Yahaha, ha, you found me. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, Zelda Koroks. Hi, who are you? Cheruby. Um, I have 7 HP. Uh, strong style it. Because we're gonna die. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, it has the healing move. Anyways, I'm gonna catch this thing. Like, while well, I'm, well, I'm trying to catch this thing, I'll do my little outro doohickey. So thank you very much for watching. In this episode, we traveled to the ruins, found, uh, whatever her name was, had like two A, or like three A's, an L, a B, an R, and they're in there somewhere. Uh. <laughs> Can I do anything with this, or is it? Yeah, go <laughs> Badu. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I found the, that that character, and we encountered Volo again. It was the fragment. We found the bandits for the first time. That is an onyx. I don't know what the heck you are, but you look like a. I don't know. <laughs> So anyways, uh, yeah, that was uh, a lot of story stuff that happened. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed yourself a little bit. Hey, Julius. Grin mildly. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.